This remedy can really repair damaged kidneys. It is so powerful that just 2.5 grams twice a day for three months significantly lowered the creatinine of all the participants of a recent study, even those in the advanced stages of CKD. Catherine from Double Kini here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kini health. There are five herbs that can lower your creatinine levels fast. Today, I've ranked them and I will show you how to use them. What you should know is that these herbs are able to lower your creatinine and help repair kidney damage so efficiently that, in my opinion, all kidney disease patients should be using them regularly, or at least some of these remedies. So today, I'll show you exactly which one you need and why. We'll also see recommended dosages and best ways to use these remedies, starting with... Number 5. Siberian Ginseng Siberian Ginseng, also known as Eleuthera, is a plant that has been traditionally used as a general stimulant, great for people with chronic fatigue. What makes it interesting for us is its incredible ability to fight the number one cause of kidney disease, diabetes. According to a recent study, Siberian ginseng is extremely efficient at fighting insulin resistance, thus reducing blood glucose levels. Researchers also found out about another anti-diabetes property of Siberian ginseng. Research shows that taking a luther extract may improve nerve pain in people with diabetes. The reason may be the anti-inflammatory action this herb offers. Siberian ginseng has been found to be associated with reduced expression of COX2, which is an inflammatory pathway activating enzyme. It's interesting because Pain-relieving drugs like aspirin and ibuprofen work by inhibiting the same enzyme. So, we have energizing anti-diabetes and painkiller properties. Yes, this herb is amazing! Who should use Siberian ginseng? I really recommend this remedy to people that are suffering from fatigue. Also, since Siberian ginseng works so well against diabetic neuropathy and to lower blood glucose levels, it can help you if you have diabetes. Now, this is a remedy people should take in the morning to benefit from its energizing properties. Typical dosage 500 mg of Eleuthera extract per day. Do not exceed 3 to 6 grams. Take the supplement for no more than 3 months continuously, followed by at least a 2-3 to three week break. It is important to talk with the doctor before taking herbal supplements. Siberian ginseng in particular could have interactions with blood pressure lowering medication, so be very careful. It is however considered safe to use in the dosages and modalities that I've shown you. A question for you guys before I'll show you our next one. Have you ever tried herbal remedies to fight kidney disease? Has your doctor ever recommended them to you? Let's talk about it in comment section. Our number four now, a very cheap and easy to find remedy that's proven to protect the kidneys. Number four, hot peppers. Hot peppers, both as an herbal remedy and as a spice, have shown promising benefits to a person's overall health thanks to the compound that makes them taste spicy, capsaicin. So if you eat this delicious spice regularly, it will make you healthy. And what you may not already know about hot peppers is that they actually prevent kidney damage. Incredible! A very recent study linked higher hot pepper intake to lower chronic kidney disease incidence. The prevalence of CKD was 13.1% in non-consumers and 7.4% among those with hot peppers intake above 50 grams per day, which is a lot of hot peppers but not uncommon in many Asian cultures. And researchers think this incredible kidney protecting benefit of hot peppers is to the unique ability of capsaicin, the active compound in hot peppers, to stimulate circulation. 
A different study has in fact shown that capsaicin can assist to heal muscle and joint pain and even speed healing of damaged tissue. Hot peppers can also reduce inflammation. Not to mention that they can help you lose weight, which is more important than many people realize because being overweight can damage the kidneys and hot peppers contain properties that stimulate energy production. They can make you burn more calories. 3% more calories actually, which is especially useful when eaten before exercising. And I really recommend this remedy to people in the first stages of CKD, especially those with diabetes and those who want to lose weight. But you don't need to eat hot peppers every day, especially if you don't like the spiciness. Capsaicin as a supplement is very easy to find and cheap. A 3 month supply costs less than $10. Capsaicin cream, on the other hand, is one of the few working therapies for uremic pruritus that each caused by advanced stage kidney disease. Those for oral cayenne pepper is 1000 mg to 2000 mg a day, usually with meals. Now guys, our next herbal remedy can cure, yes, I said cure, the number one cause of kidney disease in the world. Number 3. The insulin plant. Also known as Castus igneus, this is a magic plant native in South and Central America. The leaf of this plant contains corosolic acid that helps in producing insulin, a very effective and natural way of treating diabetes. This plant is so powerful that when allopathic doctors in India prescribe diabetic patients to chew one leaf a day for a month, many of the patients end up with normal insulin levels. Amazing! People in southern India are so in love with this plant that they usually grow it both as an ornamental plant and as a medical plant. Its leaves are directly used as a dietary supplement in the treatment of diabetes. The insulin plant leaves also have diuretic effect, which can also help the kidneys get rid of excess potassium, sodium, and water to help with high blood pressure. But the most powerful effect is on diabetes. According to a review of studies, the insulin plant has been proven to possess various pharmacological activities like hypolipidemic, diuretic, antioxidant, antimicrobial, anticancerous. Also, the researchers concluded supporting the therapeutic effects of the leaves in diabetes. Another study published in the Journal of Clinical and Diagnostic Research concluded that 100% of the subjects saw a statistically significant reduction in blood sugar levels after taking insulin plant. And this was just our number three. This means I have two even more powerful herbal remedies to show you. Now guys, you don't really need to grow this plant to benefit from these incredible properties. I mean, you could, especially if you live in India or in the hotter part of the US. But there is an easier way. You can buy the extract, which was used in the studies and for which we have a recommended dosage. Recommended dosage is 6 grams of powder for the first 60 days, then after 60 days, reduce to just 3 grams per day. Our number 2 is incredibly powerful. In one study, it completely cured proteinuria in all the participants. Number 2. Rich Mushroom also known as Galoderma lucidum, this fungus really has something miraculous about it. It's widely used in many Asian countries for treatment of many diseases including high blood pressure and diabetes. And most important, according to our recent research, Reishi has powerful effect on the outer membrane of the nephron, the filtering unit of the kidney. This is what a study on people suffering from proteinuria, an important marker of kidney disease, found out. Incredibly, all the participants of this study had significant improvement in kidney function. After the treatment, they had no more proteinuria at all, which is amazing! Researchers think that Rishi makes the kidney less permeable to help protect the kidney, help stop erosion of the nephron. 
Okay guys, what you should know about this remedy is that it also has many other benefits. Other than treating cancer and kidney problems, Rishi is also known to help with cholesterol, preventing heart disease, treating infections, especially those of the urinary tract, and to fight inflammation. This is why this remedy is extremely easy to find all around the world and also cheap. Rishi mushrooms are sold as an extract and can be easily found on Amazon.com or in herbal shops. The dose in the study on proteinuria is 750 mg to 1100 mg per day of extract. Still, consult your doctor before taking this remedy if you have chronic kidney disease, hypertension, diabetes, or if you are taking medications. And when buying supplements, be sure to find a brand that has obtained his certifications from external agencies. Our number one is even more powerful than rich mushroom. It can lower your creatinine levels fast, even in patients with advanced stages kidney disease. Number one, Astragalus. Oh, definitely one of the most powerful kidney healing herbs in the world. This herb is an adaptogen, one of the most important Asian remedies of Chinese medicine. In a breakthrough study, Japanese researchers conducted on 35 stage 4 and 5 chronic kidney disease patients, this natural remedy did what many considered to be a miracle. Test subjects were being treated for CKD-related complications such as hypertension, renal anemia, metabolic acidosis, and mineral bone disease with antihypertensive drugs, erythropoietin, baking soda, vitamin D, and more. So basically, some of them were even receiving better care than most patients actually. Now, despite these treatments, none of them were getting any better. All the patients had a declining kidney function in the months before starting the therapy with astragalus. Then they were administered 2.5 grams of astragalus twice a day, together with conventional therapy. In just 3 months of therapy with astragalus, their GFR started to go up instead of down. Guys, if you want to know more about astragalus, I've made a full video about it. It's up here. Now guys, in one of my recent videos, I've also talked about a possible cure for kidney disease which is based on corn silk. It's an incredibly powerful medicine because in human trials, it has already completely cured kidney disease in some patients. So if you have missed this one, please watch it now. It's gonna be interesting. Okay guys, a new video is coming next Tuesday. I hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.